All right. Well, good guys, Mo to tell you, it's Friday, people. Friday. It's the end of the the week, kind of sorta, and it's about time for us to celebrate and get our praise on on Sunday. I'm excited because God has kept us. He's blessed us throughout the week. I'm just super excited uh, for the weekend. I'm expecting some great things from God, and you ought to be too. And so let's just continue to give God praise today and thank, be thankful that we are alive and well. Ah! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's look at our scripture for this morning. Coming from 1 John 3 and 11. 1 John 3 and 11. It says, this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Let me say it again. This is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Now, if we done heard this from the beginning, I think somewhere along the line, we have forgotten about it. Thank God for the sun this morning. It's nice, nice and bright. And just like the sun is nice and bright to us, that's how our love should be for one another. I truly believe, beloved, that we ought to treat each other the way we would want to be treated. No matter what, treat each other the way we want to be treated. God says, you've heard this from the very beginning. I've said this I don't know how many times. I'm repeating myself because perhaps you've forgotten that you ought to love one another. How hard is that? to love one another. Some people say, well, you know what? That's quite hard. But I believe it's hard because you don't love yourself. Can we just be real about it this morning? I believe we don't know how to treat others is because we don't, we haven't learned how to treat ourselves. We haven't learned how to love ourselves, to, 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 to love what God has made and how he has made it. I don't care if you got a bald spot and it, that just bald spot just irritates you. Love your bald spot. I don't care if you got freckles all over your face. If your skin complexion is dark as charcoal. Love your dark charcoal skin. Love your freckles all over your face. We have not learned to love ourselves. There's some within ourselves that we have not learned to love and, and to, to accept. And so therefore we have a hard time loving and accepting others. And then here's the other part about it. When we love and accept others, you know, there is there is the risk of getting hurt. There's the risk of being hurt. There's the risk that you will get hurt. And oftentimes you do do get hurt. But what's what 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 then? Should you stop loving or should you continue on? God says that I'm I'm telling you this. Continue loving. I don't care what happened. I don't care what, what went wrong. I don't care what what the deal is. Continue loving. I know it's hard, beloved. I know. I know. We've got to pray. We've got to ask God to take over. Take over our hearts. Take over, you know, and give us the real meaning of loving unconditionally. Broadcast has stopped for some reason, so I'm going to just continue it, though, and I'm going to record it. Um... Is recording and so I'm going to share it later okay so for those of you who are on God bless you all um, I can't necessarily tell who is it but we're gonna to continue to record amen and um, share this later okay but anyway um let's just pray this morning because God I believe God has something in store for us I believe that God is going to give us you know those missing pieces and things that we need in order to do his will and to be the people of God, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you, God, for your loving kindness that has been brand new to us every morning. God, we thank you that you've continued to love us, God, in spite of, you know, us not loving ourselves, maybe, or whatever is going on in our hearts and minds. God, I thank you, oh God, that, that you continuously just do what you you do and only you can do most and best. And Father, we just thank you for that. God, we thank you for uh, um, you giving us and renewing a right spirit within us, God, that we can love one another in spite of our faults, in spite of our neighbor's faults, in spite of whatever our shortcomings and whatever. God, I just pray that we can love one another beyond what we've ever experienced, that God, we just open the floodgates and that we would just love, 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 love. 
God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this time of fellowship and communion with you, God, and with your people. And Father, I thank you, God, for that which you're doing, that which you're going to do. God, help us to, to let go and let God. We thank you. We give you praise, God, glory, and honor for all things. But we know that all things come from you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to you all. I do see some folk that are on. Uh, I don't know if you're still on, but I saw that you were on. So good God's morning to all of you. Amen. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Hopefully we won't have this issue tomorrow. Amen. All right. So good God's morning to you all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, okay, for another Good God's Morning episode, all right? Good God's Morning to you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.